And tomorrow's sunshine warm with 53, a heat wave. Clear 25, wind chill at 3, 729 it is. I'm Mary Glenn Lasseter, and now more of the Steve McCoy Morning Show. Yeah, spring, Ooh. first full day. Yes. Hey, that's oh, great. Spring. You, know, you, know, you know, I didn't expect Sparky to come into work today because on oh. spring, he normally gets spring fever and takes off. Chill right. He's looking for flowers. Uh-oh. Mm. That's a friendly knock. At the, there he is. I can't believe it. Mr. Blues. I get misty what? just changing my socks. Oh, <laughs> boy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's Mr. Blues. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Just looking for a weekend woman. Just oh, a weekend woman. woman. I need a woman there. Is that right? Try Atlanta Dairy. Look, look, <laughs> look. What? You're looking Sugar at me. Pie. Oh, Mary Glenn. Gosh. Mary yeah, Glenn. Mr. Blues. Are you sure you are not one of the Ronettes <laughs> in that earlier life? A hey. Supreme and now a Ronette. <laughs> I, I love it. Blues. I Where love y'all it. are going to be, I'm going to be at uh, Castle Your Mama tonight. Mm-hmm. Now. A member of the not that much better business bureau. <laughs> <laughs> oh me, but sad news, boys. What? What? Oh, Meglin, I need what? your help. What? I desperately need your help. My my second wife is coming to town. Is that nothing to tell her? We we're still on a friendly basis. She's remarried, but mm-hmm. uh, her, yeah. her new she's. Her name is Polly Dent. Polly Dent. She's remarried. <laughs> you yeah, are no. nuts. You're nuts. She's my second wife. Mm. I'll tell you what. She's uh, mm. I, I don't want to. I, yeah, she's a nice woman. I don't want to say uh, Mr. Blues ain't saying she ugly or anything. Well, but what are you, school? Yeah. The graduating class made her attend the prom by mail. Oh. Ooh. That's <laughs> ugly. Yeah. Oh, when we were married one time, she ran naked into the bedroom. Yeah. Oh. I said, darn. Six more weeks of winter. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be going. I got to practice up here. All right. Bye, 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 Mr. Blues. I'm so glad he didn't see this Whitney Houston album cover. Oh. He would have hung around. It's, I mean, uh, this, this woman is so pretty and sings it, too. Let's keep it hidden here for a few minutes longer. Whitney Houston. Beautiful song. The greatest love of all. 736, we've got 24 to late. Z93, sun is up, but cold. By the way, just a little note here, Steve. There's an accident with injuries on the West Expressway inbound just before Highway 6. And keep in mind, folks in Cobb County, the... um the uh, ice at Powers Ferry and Windy Hill mm. still on the road. Can you? By the way, there was a funny story. It was not a funny story, but you know, you know, we're always hearing stories lately about airline maintenance. Yesterday, a um, a U.S. Air jet that was a DC nine taking off from Virginia Beach, going to Dulles. All of a sudden, one of the guys on the ground had had not shut the uh, cargo door good. And they take off, and the bags start dumping out. No! <laughs> oh, can you imagine, you know, just walking around your backyard, and all of a sudden a plane flies over, and bags dumping oh. all over your head? Oh. What an embarrassing thing, though. And those like. were just the friendly skies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's America? America's first choice in value. All right, Z93 at 22 till 8 in the morning. Somebody's on the phone. Good morning. Oh. This is Francis Chambers. I bowled with you in strike force here a few months ago. Yeah, for cystic fibrosis. Right. Do you remember me? You sent me a T-shirt. Yes, I do. I remember you, Francis. Okay. I am opening my own business in Mableton, believe it or not. It's going to be called Green Haven. All right. It's ladies, lun- it's ladies wear and lingerie. Well, uh, oh, gift. I'm going to have gift wrapping and all this kind of stuff. Well, listen, my wife is about, let's see, what is she at now, John? Eight and a half months, nine months? I'm... My my wife's almost nine months pregnant right now, yeah, and I'm afraid she thinks Steve can just come feel the inventory. Can, can I just come and squeeze a couple of those oh. things? <laughs> you know, I thought at first she was going to open a bowling alley there, Dream <laughs> Dream Haven. It's like a bowling alley to me, Steve. <laughs> well, well, I mean, don't laugh at my name. I think it's pretty. <laughs> you know, there must be a great skill, Francis, in buying for the women of Mapleton. That must no. be a great art. Like, what do you think their taste would be? Like, would you have the same same things that Neiman Marcus has, for example? Right. I'm mean, I'm having some. I, you're, not, you're not kidding. I bought some dresses that Neiman Marcus had advertised in a New York paper. That and, was marked the other day. And I'm sure you're selling them much cheaper. Well, no, I have oh. not them yet. I've, I've not <laughs> no. opened up yet. Oh, you're not open yet. When are you going to open? <laughs> I'm going. I'm shooting for around. A, it's close to April the first. Without opening on April the 1st, I don't want to be a fool, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. But, uh, well, how about bowling shirts? <laughs> I th- yeah, are you going to have any uh, sexy bowling shirts? Well, I'm I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. See-through bowling shirt, yeah. I mean. 
I was just going to say, I realized that in that conversation, I asked you how far along my wife is in pregnancy. Yeah, what, uh, what, what, what did you have to do with it? Why, yeah, why did you ask me that? I don't Steve? know. I, don't... <laughs> I told you yesterday, it's, uh, eight, eight months and four days. I mean, can't you remember? Wow. I remember hugging her once. That's about it. I don't know how it happened. Well, if she uh, names the child after the UPS man, I'd say let's worry. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, Falco and Rock Me Armaday is 749, 11 away from 8, with 23 degrees and a hot day only of 45. Well, I mentioned a few moments ago about this new alarm system I got for my house. You're going to love this thing. You ought to get one. They're very inexpensive, and they work terrific. Here's the brand new alarm system. Picture this if you can. Your car is parked on the street. That fancy German stereo begging to be ripped off. Suddenly, the neighborhood is hastily arrived by an ear-piercing alarm. The startled thief has nothing to do but run. Yes, protect your valuables and the precious ones you love with the James Brown burglar alarm. The hardest working alarm in America. (laughs) Something big is going down at Perimeter 4. Coupons, double savings. When you go Kroger. Available this week at all Metro Atlanta Kroger stores. Feel the difference in your food budget. Go Kroger. <laughs> D93 Metro traffic update at 752 on this Friday morning. There's an accident westbound on 285 at Flat Shoals. C90. Phil Collins and Philip Bailey together at 806 morning. Steve McCoy show with a sunny but chilly day here on this first full day of spring. Wind chill at about three above. Isn't that great? I thought we were done with all this type of stuff. Everybody's in the car this morning going, oh, please, heat or warm up quick. And then Nancy Reagan, I thought that the strangest story yesterday, trying to leave Atlanta on Air Force One, mm-hmm. and the guy rolls the plane into the mud. Into the mud. Yeah, they had to call George Kennedy to get it out of the mud. <laughs> <laughs> the big wedding can take... Olay! Hamburger helper helper. No. Taco Bay. Make a great meal. Olay! Aha! Every morning we start at 7.10 giving away prize packages in our sneak preview giveaway. This morning I gave away a Litton microwave oven, a Sony Walkman, and more prizes that added up to $686. (laughs) Went to uh, Billy Deal, as a matter of fact. He was our big winner. Billy can't believe it. And a little later on this morning, you have a chance after 10 o'clock. Charles Henry will have prize package number 44 to give away from Coke, Six Flags, and Z93. Warm yourself up today. Get those Coca-Cola products with the Z93 on the label or on the can. You'll be set to win if you're the correct caller then. If you're sending your kids out to preschool or anything today, dress them up. High of only 45. We have 23 degrees and a wind chill of 3. They're going to argue with you about what clothes to wear this morning. Don't, Don't give in. Don't give in. It's too cold. Z93, good morning. Hi today, only around 45. Welcome to the first day of spring. Isn't this wonderful? And it's right. also going to be a nice weekend for a Six, six Flags sneak preview weekend. This uh, They're changing Thunder River. It's kind of like the polar ice caps this weekend. It'll be a great <laughs> ride. It's like being an Eskimo. Hickman uh, Nissan, Georgia. I thought, I thought I heard y'all say y'all was giving something away a minute No, ago. no, no, no. Not right now. No, no. I said um, a little late after 10 o'clock, you'll have a chance. Let me tell you what you need to do here. I want to check with you. Okay. Uh... Okay, you're going to need a Z93 can or a two-liter bottle of Tab after 10 o'clock. You got that? Yeah. Okay, then you just listen to sometime after 10, he'll be asking for you to call in. Okay, yeah, because I called the, I called the end, uh, end of your conversation. I was coming up the hallway, and I thought... I thought That's okay, I understand. That happens a lot. Okay. Thank- People just hear, they hear prizes, and they say, whoa, it's time to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be good now. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we encourage everyone to get a mobile phone. That way you won't have to stop at a phone booth. <laughs> and, uh... Or at least carry a pocket full of quarters. So you sure. can pull out the interstate and <laughs> try it real quick. Somebody, please, adopt these guys, will you please? <laughs> Call the Bank South Information Hotline at 529-4285. That's 529-4285. Special people. Bank South. Bank South is an equal opportunity affirmative action employer. Okay, 22. And, sir, you've got a, a story to tell us? Crazy weekend. Yeah, wild, wild weekend stories. Hey, bro, I yeah. think I'll tell you anyway because you're going to die. It's about one of your favorite people. Who? Jose Williams. Okay, tell me the story. All right. I have a, um, a, a white Dodge that looks like a police car. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a security guard. So what I do is uh, I go out sometimes and put this red 
night in my window and chase cars. <laughs> I saw this uh this red and white Eldorado Cadillac just driving and switching lanes and going on, just driving all crazy. And uh, I put the light in the window and I chased it. He tried to get away. He turned the corner, and by the time I turned the corner, the car was parked and Jose and William was sitting on the passenger seat by itself. True. You did this yesterday. Yesterday. So you get a red light, and when you see somebody doing something on the roadways, maybe going fast, you chase them. Yes, I do. What? Just for the fun of it. Yeah, and try to tell them to slow down, because I've, I've been in a wreck before, and it has really scared me. You actually get out and talk to the people? Yeah. You don't impersonate an officer, do you? I do not. Oh, you just tell them to slow that you got this red light. Did you stop it and, and talk to Hosea? Yeah, Hosea said, I'm not driving this car. What? <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had switched to the other side of the seat. He said the driver got out and went somewhere. <laughs> In, in, in the words of our good friend Gummer Pyle, Citizens Rest! Citizens oh, Rest! Remember yeah. that old episode when he did that? Yeah. Gosh, I can't or maybe he was driving from the passenger side. <laughs> That's an old trick. That's probably why he's never chewing so much. That's hard to get your balance like that. There's a logical explanation. That's sure, probably yeah, sure, 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 Judge. <laughs> here's a new one you haven't heard. Ah, he was on the right side of the gear shift. There yeah. you go. You will remember my name. So Aretha Franklin's Z93, who is zooming who? 25 till 9 with 27 degrees, a sunny and cold day today on this first full day of spring. Well, at least it's sunny, though. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. I that know is. it. I was talking to a friend of mine last night in uh, Nashville, and they said their low was supposed to be in the teens last night. Is that right? Yeah. And I said, gee, all the trees are blooming down here. They said, yeah, up here they are, too. Things are going to, it's going to, you know, ruin a lot of gardens and uh, plants. Well, and see, what are the things, see, I've missed it. What did you say about the high for tomorrow? Uh, 53. That's nuts. Well, maybe Sunday will be even better. Maybe we'll hit yeah. 60 by Sunday. That'll uh, be better. Tennis uh, starts tomorrow for Men's oh, Alta. No. I start tomorrow. Nine uh, o'clock, yeah. we're supposed to play. Nine, nine, nine in the morning. Nine uh, in the morning. Mm, you want my overcoat? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need that. I'm looking for a wetsuit right now. Why don't actually. you guys quit trying to be, you guys quit trying to be Charles Bronson and cancel it. <laughs> You know, it'll be prettier Canceling. next weekend. But y'all can go out there and act like, oh, we can take it. And y'all have pneumonia on Monday. Yeah, I know. Why don't y'all? Well, the rules don't say that you can quit because of the weather. You, That's can't, really, you, can't, you can't do that. Listen, if they don't cancel, call in sick. Tell them you're throwing up or That's something. That's a good yeah, idea. There you go. There you go. We're battle when you all find a sugarless gum. Taste new Trident Cinnamon. Z93. Addicted to love, C93, Robert Palmer at 843. Now 27 degrees, wind chill of 9. And we gave away prizes earlier this morning, a microwave oven and, um, oh, let's see, a case of Coke. We gave away a Sony Walkman and a bunch of other prizes that uh, total up to about $700 in cash and prizes from Z93 and Sneak Preview Giveaway. In the next uh, couple of hours, you'll have a chance to win if you have a tab, two-liter bottle, or a tab, a can, uh, with Z93 on the label. And that's all you need to win. All you need. Yep. Sneak Preview Giveaway and all. All right, 843 now at Z93. Here we go into the weekend. R O Y A L S. Z93. Morning, Steve McCoy show at 10 away from 9 o'clock here. I don't know if you uh, read USA Today. And uh, all week long, we haven't talked about this, but they've been doing one of those phone polls where they uh, have been asking you to call in and vote on the uh, nominated uh, motion picture and actors and actresses for the Academy Awards. You won't believe this, but what? for the first time in my life, I have spent 50 cents a call and I've dialed three of them. Oh, did you really? Yeah, okay, I, I bet I know what you did. I you dialed for Best Picture, Pritzi's Honor. All right. You dialed for Best Actress. Did you call Best Actress? Uh-huh, Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. For The Color Purple. What was the other one you called for? I called for Best Actor for Jack Nicholson. For Jack Nicholson. Yeah, for Pritzi's Honor. But he got, James Garner got it. Yeah. In the, it, which I was real surprised over. In the USA Today poll, yeah, yeah. Garner won for Murphy's Romance. Well, they have today that the Best Picture uh, is The Color Purple. Yeah. And uh, I heard you earlier in the week, you had uh, some of the Oscar... Las previewers, Vegas guys, yeah, yeah, saying that it would be Pritzi's honor would sweep the awards. Yeah. I think they're going to be wrong on that. I think the color purple is going to end up sweeping it. Mm. It's going to be a good one. I hope Whoopi Goldberg gets it. I know yeah, that. I, I do too. And best supporting actress, they're looking at uh, Angelica Houston of Pritzi's honor also. So, and then let's see, Geraldine Page for 
uh, Best Actress from, what is it, Home to Bountyville? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's You know, it. she may get it only because I don't think she's ever won before. Has she? No, but they say that, that no, she hasn't, but they say that that movie is incredible. We right. haven't had that premiere here yet, but they say her performance is really good. And good news, we'll have to have you over about, oh, let's see here, May 1st, you can come over and right. uh, we'll, we'll have dinner and everything, cook out, because you have never seen Cocoon. And no. that's coming to video cassette here on April 29th. Oh, that's good. So you'll be able to see it. And okay. uh, that's a good movie. You'll like it. You'll well, like thanks. it. Thanks. I'll write that down now. And yeah. I can't come over before then. Is that uh, right? I've got the no. whole month of April. I have to stay no, away. No, no. You can't come over. I see. Before. Okay. Oh, well, no, 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 no. C93, 9.13 in the morning. That is Madonna. I've been thinking about her. You know, you know that, that movie, Desperately Seeking Susan, has been on HBO a bunch lately. Uh, but there's a new Madonna song coming out in a couple of weeks, I'm told. It's ah. another, a ballad. You know, because so many of her songs have been up-tempo, but that yeah, was one of her yeah. biggest right there, a ballad. But she's got, it's the theme to the new Sean Penn movie is what it is. The Shanghai Surprise, Something right? like that, yeah. When's that due out, do you know? Uh, it's supposed to be pretty soon, I guess. Hmm. But, uh, but, but her next song will be another ballad like that. I was reading in, that, uh, in People magazine, they had a story about uh, Sean Penn and Madonna doing that movie, and George Harrison uh, being one of the big guys with all the money and the yeah. thing and everything. And they're talking about what it's like to work with George Harrison, and they, they have a photograph of uh, Madonna in People magazine. And uh, when the Beatles were at their height in, let's say, 64, yeah. uh, they have a picture of George Harrison and the Beatles getting off the plane in America in 64. And at that point in time, they have a, a picture of what Madonna was doing. Mm. She was seven, uh, and they have her in her, her in her first communion gown. Oh, no. Hey, look in the paper. It says Pear v Lunder's coming to Rich's Perimeter. Who's that? Pear v Lunder. He's the skateboard stuntman from the movie Back to the Future. Standing on them. Oh, we could fake an injury. Good idea. It'll all take place in the young men's department at Rich's. Weather's brought to you by Dunkin' Dine, home of the experts. This week, you can get a deluxe hamburger special, $1.99. They're open 24 hours with convenient locations. Dunkin' Dine, the eggs spurt. Sunny and cold today. Look for highs around 45. <laughs> Clear and cold tonight with a hard freeze likely. Look for lows around 25. Sunny and warmer tomorrow. I think I'll sit in Dunkin' Dine all night and drink coffee. It's going to be that cold. And a high of 53. I don't want to stay home. My wife has cold feet. I don't want to stay in bed with her. You kidding me? Get her out of here. Protect your valuables and the precious ones you love with the James Brown burglar alarm. The hardest working alarm in America. Steve McCoy. Z93 News Time at 9. I'm Eric Lamassiter. Now more of the Steve McCoy Morning Show. And it's time for the Mr. Wizard edition of Ooh. the Steve McCoy Show here at Z93. Yes. Hello. Listen, do you know anything about the vernal equinox? <laughs> I have an egg sitting on my counter, you know, uh, on its end. Yeah. And according to whoever, it's a, uh, this time of the year, the 20th or the 21st of March. Right. Because of the equinox. Right. Makes this egg it on its end. Now, yeah. we put it on my counter last night, and it's still sitting like that. Yeah, that's an old that's an old tale. I mean, that's been around for years that you're supposed to do that around, uh, you know, the vernal equinox and the change of spring, but you can do that any day. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah, it'll work any day. Oh, it's okay. Just, now, this it's just that nobody ever tries it any other day. <laughs> well, I'm wondering, when is this egg going to topple over? It, now, it, told me, Mom, sit here, let me know while I'm in school, let me know when it falls over, and I'm just... Sitting here Ma'am, watching this. you'll be there till Christmas. <laughs> I don't put it till it rots. Right? Yeah, yeah, you'll be there for a long time. Yeah, you can do that anytime. Uh, there's also there's also another neat trick if you want. Take that egg and put it in the palm of your hand, mm-hmm. and close your fingers around it, but don't don't bend your fingers. Just close your hand and keep your fingers straight, and and squeeze as hard as you can, and you will not be able to break that egg. Right. Any time of the year. Any time of the year, <laughs> yes. You try it now. It's really fascinating. As long as you don't bend your fingers with your, with, your, with your knuckles, just put it in the palm of your hand and bend your fingers around it, trying to keep them as straight as possible, and squeeze, and you will not be able to break that egg. I'm doing, uh, my fingers are pointing kind of out. My fingernails uh-huh. are pointing out. Oh, right, wow. right, pointing Gosh. towards like your elbow. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What's pointing elbow. towards my elbow? Your, your fingernails should be All right, here goes. And squeeze it. Did it break? No. Still squeezing. It hasn't broke yet. See that? 
That's terrific. I'll have to show that to my son. Now, this egg that's on my counter, unless I take it off myself, <laughs> it'll sit like that forever, right? Yeah, now. unless it... Okay. Oh, that concludes Mr. Wizard for today. Join us tomorrow, boys and girls, when we set Mary Glenn's nose hairs aflame. Uh -oh. And she doesn't scream. It'll be oh. an amazing scientific experiment. <laughs> Oh, me. She didn't tell you that she was married to Lyle Alzado, oh, did she? Well, even he won't be able to break it. <laughs> Z93, morning, Steve McCoy Show at 22 away from 10. The, the hotline I see is blinking here. Well, let me pick this up. Good, mo good morning, Z93. Are you there? Well, good morning, Steve. Remember Ned, Jimmy Carter? Of course, Mr. Carter, sure. Hey, yeah. I heard that Ned Glenn mentioned that Nancy Reagan's plane... Ran off the runway yesterday into the mud. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They were stuck in the mud for a few hours there at Air Force One. <laughs> well, sir, I don't think it's... <laughs> sir, 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 I don't think it's a laughing matter, really. I mean, you know... It, Sounds uh... more like something that should happen to Janet Ford's plane, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Steve, you know, uh, Nazi Reagan in political circles has got a nickname. A nickname? It's Scoop. Scoop? I've never heard that before. Why? She got that moniker after she started walking that ridiculous mongrel of a dog, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Jimmy, Jimmy. Steve, I, I hear George Bush is coming to town today. Yes, he is, yeah. Bush, he's kind of like the Reagan's life-size cabbage patch now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, what about all the, the trouble that you've had with uh, your daughter, Amy? She was arrested at IBM yesterday. Yeah, please, don't, don't bring that up, huh? I knew Rosalind and I, 20 years ago, never should have gone to that drive-in movie. Ooh. Ooh. I got to go, Steve. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, I'm sure there's some yard work I got to do around here. Bye. Um, thank, thank you, Mr. Carter. <laughs> Dibbies and what a fool believes. What is that uh, old saying? A fool and his money are soon Billy Carter? <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> is that the way it goes? I don't know. I don't uh, know. Thought, right. That sounds good to me. All right. Well, I guess about time we got to hurry up and get out of here, don't we? Almost. Time to leave. It's, uh, wait a minute. Is that the phone? Almost. Is that... Could that be? Yes, blinking. I don't know who that would be. Let me... Morning, Z93. Good morning. <laughs> Good. Oh, listen, John, it's our friend. So sorry, I can't really talk too well this morning. I have the worst case of bronchitis. I fell asleep in the backseat of my BMW St. Patrick's Day night. <laughs> you did? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, you should never drink and drive. Oh, that's right. Well, I thought I'd just be a, you know, usual buckhead vagrant and sleep in the backseat of my BMW when <laughs> I drove myself. Can you believe that? <laughs> But anyway, I, I heard earlier this morning about the new James Brown car alarm. Yeah. Well, I wanted to tell you that those are no longer in style. Oh, no. There is now a Stevie Nicks car alarm. Oh, is that right? Yeah, you want to hear it? <laughs> sure. A second, let me see if I can turn it on, okay? Hold, hold, hold on just a minute. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> see? It's much more effective. D93.